Hi guys, and welcome back to More Than Cars YouTube. Today, this is not how to wash a car. As you've probably seen from the introductory B-roll, this thing has acquired a lot of bird poo. So I'm about to attempt to wash it with the household items I managed to find underneath my kitchen sink. So I have two sponges. This is the better of the two. And if you can, uh, that focuses on that. This is dreadful. This is not how to wash a car, especially one that is brand new. And this is gonna kill me inside to do this to this many. But my logic here is it's better to wash the bird poo off than it is to leave the bird poo on. And obviously I might put some scratches on it. So there might be another video after this of how to polish them out. So without further ado, let's zoom in on the car and actually get washing. Right, here we go then. I've got my worst of the two sponges combined with a bucket of warm water that I'm gonna use to wipe it down with. Let's go. Right, that is uh, rinsed on. Bear in mind, I don't have a press washer here. So that's the best I could possibly do with that. I'm now using Ultimate Wash and Wax, what I found, Meguiar's. So it's decent stuff, but God knows how long it's been in the uh, underside of my cupboard for, because I honestly can't remember the last time that I washed a car. And that's really bad. But quite honestly, it's better to get a professional who actually knows what they're doing with these, or certainly the, like the Ferraris and Lamborghinis, to actually wash them, because I am killing myself knowing that I am probably putting scratches in this. But in my head, far better than leaving lots and lots of acidic bird poo. So anyway, we've got some nice soap, so uh, let me crack on with this. That is stage two done. Shampoo is on. I'm gonna let it soak in a little bit. Don't suppose that really matters considering how badly I'm doing this. But uh, the next stage is to rinse it all off. Now I will say, I'm not gonna do the alloys. We don't know how long this is gonna last. I don't want to ruin my sponge. I have one other sponge that I'm saving if I need to wash any of the supercars. So, uh, sorry Minnie. You're just gonna have to stay with dirty alloys. Stage three. Rinse it all off, all the best I can. And I appreciate it's gonna leave a load of watermarks on this. One bucket definitely wasn't enough, two buckets wasn't enough, three buckets of water to uh, finally wash all of this down. Now another gutting thing about um, this wash is I actually got some lovely GT Shine drying towels that work amazingly. You literally put them on like this and then drag them along um, and it dries the car phenomenally. However, um, I haven't got them, they're in London. So um, I'm having to make do with um, some really crappy little drying towels. So uh, anyway, let me crack on. I've just switched camera angles because um, I'm quite surprised actually. I was expecting loads of kind of uh, water marks after just quickly wiping it down, especially with a towel that's not as absorbent as those GT Shine ones. But it obviously must be the very soft water here in um, Derbyshire. There you go, there's a clue to where Project 2 is. Um, it's not actually that bad and I've come into the sun so you can see the most reflective side. Um, it, and it really isn't, there's a bit, there's bits and bobs and that's why 
and you can tell by this bottle, pick it up, there you go, Demon Shine, the tacky 18 year old thing that I used to spray on probably every day on that original car if you watched that video, then on that Corsa, so I'm going to give it a shake uh, and just quickly go around the car and just take any uh, watermarks off actually, I'm, I'm very surprised with the water, I know if I did this um, at home rather than at work over in um, Nottingham the uh, water is really really hard and it would definitely leave um, plenty of marks so uh, let's give it a quick uh, demon shine so there you go guys that is how not to clean a car i do hope you've enjoyed this comical aspect of the video um, please don't actually clean your cars the way that um, i've just done it there are proper ways of doing it using multiple buckets and multiple cloths and all sorts um, but I felt it was better to get the, the dirt off it than leave it on a brand new car but anyway please stay safe this is obviously meant in a little bit of tongue-in-cheek but uh, stay safe stay indoors thank you very much for watching do like subscribe uh, and put a thumbs down if you absolutely hated this video but thank you very much for watching I'll see you again soon for plenty more videos to come